Hey everybody, back with another unboxing. This is the Liegu S8. So as the name suggests, it is yet another uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 inspired Chinese budget phone. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. Um, yeah, I got a little uh, injury right here. So. so you have a China slash European outlet. China is quite interesting. Sometimes the outlets, it's European style. Sometimes it's uh, American style. They use both. Uh, you do get earbuds with the Liegu S8. So that's pretty cool. Are these are these a headphone 3.5? So that means this phone has a headphone jack. And then right here, it's probably gonna be a case. Yep. So you have papers, a charging cable. I believe this is micro. This is USB 3.0, not USB C. So we know the phone doesn't have USB-C charging. And this is a case. So let's get to my favorite part of the phone. Peel. I think it's this way. Okay, so I think there's a screen protector. There's a plastic film screen protector already on it. And let's peel off the back. It feels pretty nice in the hand. Let me grab some comparison phones. Okay, so obviously this is um, Samsung Galaxy S8, so it's the most natural comparison. So um, right off the bat, you see the bezels on the Liego. It's a little bit larger than on the Samsung Galaxy S8's bezels, but it's still the same 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The back looks very similar, except the Liego, I like the feel better. It's, it's a more of a matte finish. But you know, that's not a fair comparison, I always say, because this phone, when I got it, it was like 800 bucks, and this phone is a lot cheaper. So let's compare it to other budget Chinese phones. So I have here the Blackview S8, also the S8. And if you look at the packaging, it's like the same packaging. That's why it makes me wonder if these Chinese companies just all use the same factory or something. I haven't even unboxed the Blackview S8 yet because I've been uh, quite busy. But right off the bat, you see the two phones are highly highly similar i mean again it's almost like they were made in the same factory by different uh, companies so the bezels are probably about the same i'm gonna save the black film unboxing for a little like maybe tomorrow but right off the bat you see virtually the same phone i'm not sure about the specs the hardware wise very similar and you have this one this is the qbot no this is the maze maze comet not qbot the qbot x18 was terrible so this is the maze comet um, slight, the front looks very similar, same 18 by 9 aspect ratio inspired by Samsung, except the device is a little bit longer because there's a fingerprint sensor on the front, and at the back it's completely different. The, cute, the Maze Comet goes for a different vibe, it's completely leather, and it feels quite nice. Although, I think this looks better, but this feels nicer. And um, I really like the Maze Comet for its completely symmetrical front and back. Feels really good when you roll it around. But anyway, this video is about the Liegu S8. Feels pretty nice. I'm gonna set up the phone. I'll be back with a uh, hands-on. Hey everybody, I'm back. So I played with the Liegu S8 um, all afternoon. And um, the phone is pretty much on par with all the usual um, budget Chinese devices. So first things first, this version I have, it's the cheapest version with the lowest, um, like, like it's the lowest variant. So this version I have only has three gigs of RAM, and this six inch display, it's only a 720p resolution, and internal storage is only 32 gigs. But this phone sells for 170 bucks for, um, right now, 170 US dollars. If you're willing to spend a little bit more, I believe Liegu has a version that has six gigs of RAM, and a 1080p display, and 64 gigs of internal storage for about 230 US dollars. So it's like about 70 US dollars more. 
I um, you, you know whether or not it's worth it, it's up to you to get a slight boost in screen resolution. I think six gigs of RAM should make a difference in performance, though. But not that this version right here it's bad. You know, jumping in and out of apps is uh, quite fast. And you know, I, I was obviously playing games on it just now. Um, I handled it fine. Um, the display. So 720p resolution, but it's still, when you open up a website and you read the text, it's still pretty crisp. Colors are pretty good. Uh, this red here, it's kind of muted, but not too bad. The white, it's pure. Like you don't, you don't get this bluish tint. It's a pretty clean white. It's not too cool. So, you know, for like at this price range, I think this display, it's a, uh, it's pretty solid. So this uh, version of the phone comes with Android Nougat. I don't think you'll be, you can, you can expect Oreo anytime soon, but um, that means you do get to double, double tap square to jump between apps, or you can do split screen mode. In terms of software, uh, Liegu has his own software skin. There is no app tray, so all your apps go on the home screen. Um, notification, you can't swipe down from anywhere. When you swipe down from the middle, you get this search thing. Um, Instead, you have to swipe from the top, and once you pull it down, it um, looks pretty stock Android, like a more older stock Android. The settings, it's very bare bones. There is no shortcut gestures or, or, or any sort. But you do get to customize the navigation bar, so you can actually put a button here to bring down the notification shade, so that's pretty helpful. Um, you do get to hide the notification bars if you want for a proper um, full screen look to take advantage of the entire screen. But when you're watching videos in YouTube, um, there's letter boxing on the sides because obviously this is an 18 by 9 aspect ratio phone and videos are still in 16 by 9. There is no option to crop the video. But um, as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's solid. Um, the colors can be a bit punchier. Um, it's, it's a little bit dull for my liking. On an Elephone S8, the colors are a little bit splashier, but pretty solid. The volume. The volume is not that strong. This is this is like 55% already, so you can see it's pretty flat. But surprisingly, sound is coming out of both speakers here, and I believe even the earpiece. Because look, I can't right now. You can still hear the sound. Whereas on most other budget phones, when I do this, you muffle the sound completely. So the speaker, even though the bass is a little flat and it doesn't get that loud, at least you are getting true stereo sound. So this is a. Uh, max volume right here so yeah not much bass but pretty decent gaming performance is also pretty solid i played marvel contest of champions and asphalt extreme and it handled the graphics fine there were no stutter um there were no frame rate drops at all so i'm quite impressed but the phone does get a little bit hot during gaming another problem i might have with this phone is um the, it, the reception seems a little bit uh, like not not that great because when I'm looking look at how slow it's loading right now like the internet at home is very fast when I load up stuff on other phones it, it loads a little bit faster than how it's loading on the Liegu S8 right now so I wonder if there's something with the Wi-Fi reception of this phone but I'm getting full coverage here the camera you have a 13 megapixel um, Samsung lens on the back this is supposedly a 5 megapixel secondary camera but we'll have to see about that and the selfie camera is 5 megapixels too um, you go into the camera app pretty bare bones like all the other budget Chinese devices you have a shutter button for photo and video videos at the same on the same screen which I like and otherwise not a lot of um there's no filters or anything so you do get bokeh mode on top right here they call it blur the results are okay not the best and um but generally photos are impressive so um let's look at some photo samples like this is a night shot here i thought it looked pretty decent there's not a lot of noise and it actually took in pretty good details um this shot here from this bar on a cloudy day is also pretty nice colors are colors are a little bit dull again but at least the photo at least the photos come out clear with details and now watching videos obviously you're not gonna get um, OIS on this so it's a little bit jerky but watch when I zoom in here it looks pretty okay and now I'm gonna walk yeah so quite jerky I'm gonna zoom in to this menu here yeah so now I'm zooming out like 
three times and it's hard. It takes a, it's a little bit slow to focus, basically. But, um, if you care about benchmarks, the Liegu SA scored a 581 single core and 1817 multi core on Geekbench. So, obviously, not great scores, but it's passable. So, this is the Liegu SA. I think for 170 bucks, it's it's okay. It's worth considering. Although, I, I'm more impressed by the Maze Comet. And I think there are other uh, budget phones. Like the Elephone S8, that's probably a little bit more expensive, but it offers like a much more vibrant screen. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching.